because uh, when I'm asked about what uh, is central to any green vision for Leicester, it's about a strategic vision that involves the people of Leicester. And those who have been here today and seen the commitment of the people who have been here will know that there are some people in Leicester who are very committed to making Leicester a truly green place. Now, I go back a long time in this city. I think some of you will know I had 17 years as council leader. And one of my proudest achievements during that time was to develop a strategic vision for a green Leicester. We badged it. We badged this environment city. And to their shame, politicians of all parties dropped it and just let it slide. And I tell you, yeah, I mean, John's right. I'm, st I'm standing, I hope, as, as a candidate for elected mayor. But central to that is recreating a strategic partnership to give a green vision for the future of Leicester. And the, you only have to look around today to see how many people there are out there who know about it, who are committed to it, and can be part of that strategic partnership. So whether we badge it as Environment City next time, I don't know. But I do know that we need to mobilise the whole community in, develop, in, in, in delivering a green vision for the future of Leicester. So strategic partnerships, number one. The second thing is, again, looking back at what I did during the time I was, I was leader of the council, and it is we need a vision for the natural environment in Leicester. And some of you here, I think, will know, while I was leader, I commissioned what was then described as an ecology strategy for Leicester. And it was on the back of that and alongside of that that we saw the development of Watermead at one end of the city and Aylston Meadows at the other end of the city. We saw the development of green pockets within the city. And I believe, again, to their shame, the politicians since then have dropped that and have never once bothered to revisit it. And if you ask the city councillors at, at the moment about the ecology strategy, they just scratch their heads. But it's there, and it needs to be brought back up to date, and it needs to be at the heart of everything the council does. And the third thing that's very dear to my heart is we need to do something about a strategic vision for quality transport in this city that isn't the private car. And while I was leader of the council, we put a lot of green paint down to make cycleways. It's fading. It's fading because nobody's bothered to revisit it. We built a lot of bus lanes with good bus priorities. Have you seen new bus, bus lanes? Have you seen new bus priorities? No, you haven't. What we need is a strategic vision for an alternative to the private car in this city that caters for the users of public transport and gives them quality public transport, that caters for the pedestrian and makes sure that this is actually a pedestrian-friendly city, and caters to the cyclist, so they make sure, as you've seen in other cities, that people are, feel safe and are feel able to use cycles as an alternative to the private car in the city. So three things, strategic partnership, ecology at the heart of the council's thinking, and the strategic vision for public transport, private transport that is an alternative to the private motor car. Well,